Hi everyone, welcome to the RFOX AMA. It's Lenny Clifford here with Benny Fairbank, the CEO and co-founder of RFOX. We're in one of these amazing shops in the RFOX vault. Um, looks pretty incredible. Benny, how are you doing this week? Hey Lenny, I'm doing very well, thank you. Thanks for asking. Lots going on in the ecosystem, so uh, not hard to keep busy, that's for sure. Yeah, today we're going to take a dive into DAOs and uh, you know that's following a recent announcement from RFOX to launch a DAO in one of its shops in the RFOX vault. So yeah, let's get into it. Ex- exciting times, there's a lot happening and I think uh, just to start off with maybe for, for people who are newer to the RFOX ecosystem, you know, could you just uh, give a quick explainer about um, what it is and, and where we're at right now? Yeah, so that's a great question. The RFOX ecosystem is a platform. We started off four or five years ago saying that we would build uh, products and services in the four fastest growing sectors of the internet economy that would eventually plug into this platform. So that metaverse forms the platform with things such as gaming, finance, NFTs, avatars, and creator tools all plugging in, and we're about to transition into that open beta now. So the ecosystem's only just really launching now, so it's been years and years of toil, but uh, we designed this to be fair and more inclusive and to give people an opportunity to launch their own brands, release brands, and bring brands into the vault, um, as well as also having uh, great immersive experiences focusing anywhere from gaming through to retail and uh, entertainment. All right, and just to start, Benny, can you define what a DAO is? Yeah, a DAO is a decentralized autonomous organization. Um, Basically, that means it's run by the community. So it's a a project that will be run by its community members and anything that's integral or key will be voted on by the community members. So it takes away a lot of that centralization that people don't like and gives the uh, community that's participating, active and involved a chance to really steer the project in the direction it takes. Okay, so RFOX has assigned a shop to be used by the community to run a DAO. What, what's driving this decision? And also, what does it mean for RFOX in the big picture? Yeah, that's true. We have assigned a shop uh, to be used for free for the DAO. Uh, the idea is simply to ensure that we've got the opportunity to bring in communities of size into the vault. And by giving a person a shop space, which is effectively its own mini metaverse, uh, that DAO is un, um, has unlimited possibilities as far as what it actually builds out. How it's good for the RFOX um, ecosystem as a whole is if this type of concept works, we've got an opportunity to do this many, many times over. Uh, and it does bring in people into our community that have already got uh, experience in the Web3 space and also in NFTs and building. All right, that's awesome. And um, Benny, why is this going to be launched on the Binance chain? Yeah, another good question. So Binance has uh, often been overlooked as far as a chain is concerned. There are some good projects that are building on on the Binance Smart Chain. We already have integration um, to BSC done with our farms uh, and also our token VFOX and RFOX. So it made sense for us to start there. And I think it's a really good opportunity for people in the Binance community to sort of come across and participate in something. And it gives this DAO an opportunity to start off with a with a metaverse real estate space from the get-go. Okay, great. Let's uh, take a walk, Benny, and um, we can uh, chat chat maybe upstairs. But first, before we go, what what is this thing uh, just, just here? Yeah, that's actually a uh, baked-in website. That can be anything. It can be a notice board for updates. As you can see here, I can actually click through and navigate my way through um, different pages. It's connected, it's live. So this is a great opportunity for people to to provide tutorials, videos explaining how things work, um, uh, update events or promote upcoming events, um, a chance for people to communicate, interact, find jobs, anything that uh, that you want. And everything that we do in here is just a um, an opportunity for people to see what is possible. What they do with that is entirely up to them. Sure is, good good function there for uh, shop owners. And, and how about this? Yeah, that's actually, uh, you can use that to capture your prey, uh, advertise uh, new assets or items. You could use that for anything that you want. Again, it's a, it's a display case um, to showcase what is possible in these spaces and what you could potentially do. As a template, that will come standard and you can uh, obviously use that for whatever purpose you would like. 
All right, so use the shop templates or you can go next level and create something from scratch with the Unity SDK. Cool, let's head upstairs. So, so Benny, the, the voting has has finished now. What were the results of the vote for the DAO? Yeah, the, the uh, results of the vote were unanimous. It was about 96% of people voted for uh, having a DAO, and I think it was received um, fairly well. People are looking for more information, but the idea of having large communities uh, in the vault is something that excites everybody. All right, so, the, so, so it's approved to start, and how and why is this DAO starting a little differently from others that we typically see? Yeah, the community asked for a space that they could uh, build within and a community, an opportunity to build up a community. So what we did was we looked at uh, the research and did some um, looking at numbers and what works and what doesn't work. And what we decided to do was give people the opportunity to have a space. And also uh, we didn't want to sort of go out and make people have to raise to launch the DAO. We wanted to basically give this uh, opportunity to the community with all the tools, with the space uh, and kick it off. So the job was for us to help to get the ball rolling and then hand that straight over to the DAO. Okay, all right, great. Now, now RFOX it already has a very well-established and active community, many people who are contributing. What's the process for this DAO to appoint people to work on it? Yeah, much like any DAO, people can really sort of um, decide how they want to do that for themselves. Ultimately, we have established a committee uh, and that committee has um, been given the task to steward or to usher in people from the other communities uh, and from Binance and to welcome those people to the RFOX platform, but also just to sort of give those people a, an opportunity to understand how that meta our metaverse works, how the ecosystem works, and ultimately um, they will work out uh, through their own methods who and how to employ people. Okay, and the DAO will distribute tokens to a variety of stakeholders, including creators and brands that operate within the shop. And can you elaborate on, on how those payments would work? Yeah, so initially it'll be 20% of the tokens will go to the holders of the Binance projects that people have voted for. Um, there will be uh, obviously some early contributors that have put up the initial liquidity. Uh, and then you've also got... Um, a small allowance for the RFOX ecosystem, uh, which will be uh, distributed to our community. And that's as a result of putting up the tools and the, the shop space and giving the, um, the DAO an opportunity to, to build from scratch. So it's quite a, a, a wide distribution, but ultimately uh, all of those details can be seen on the DAO's website. And once the DAO is fully up and running and established, people can vote to change that. Okay. And, and it's interesting, this sort of uh, model, the, the DAO could be applied to all shop owners if they wish. It's an interesting opportunity to consider there for shop owners who perhaps they might not want to build their own experience or run a business themselves. Yeah, we're, we're really uh, confident that this could uh, be a very good model to start with at least. And if this does um, work well, then we would look to replicate this and shop owners, as you say, that don't really have a clear idea of exactly what it is they want to do, now have the opportunity to be able to um, to follow suit, to do something very similar. Um, so it's a great model for building up large communities. They can either rent that, uh, offer it rent free to the DAOs, or they could sell that to the DAO as well. So pretty good opportunity. Okay. Should we uh, keep keep walking through? There's a lot more to see. Yeah, sure. Maybe have a look uh, through over this uh, window area to start with. It looks pretty interesting. I think we should head down there. Yeah, for sure. It looks like an aquarium, huh? <laughs> Let's see what it's like once you get in there. All 
All right, we're here in this area which shows that you can create anything you want in your space from something that's quite basic like this to even a full game or for Web3 communities, it could be something related to the project. So yeah, let your imagination run wild, I say. Now, Benny, one last quick question before we finish up. Um, you've been critical of DAOs in our past discussions and uh, I remember you saying, imagine trying to make a pizza with 100 flavors and yeah, there've been some major flops of DAOs such as the DAO, which had about uh, $60 million of investor funds initially stolen. So why do you think that this is the right thing to do now? Yeah, I think when um, there's huge money raised or money at stake uh, and an opportunity for people to sort of mine or to pillage as much value as they can out of a fledgling DAO, that's a, it's a big killer. So um, uh, I think that it's always a matter of timing. We've actually got the platform ready to go into uh, open beta. So now it's a matter of saying, right, if people want that space, the community have been asking for it, let's give that opportunity uh, a chance. And ultimately, we're a lot further progressed than we were previously. Um, so we now have tools that will allow people to build. They've got a space. The chances of them producing something of substance or quality is far, far higher. Um, and due to the fact that there was no raise required for this actual DAO, um, there is less likely to be um, that same type of uh, f arguing and fighting in the beginning as to who gets the most amount of money. All right, Benny, let's uh, wrap it up here. Where does everyone need to go to to keep up to date with the developments here? Yeah, the information can be um, seen on the websites. We're actually going to post on the official RFOX sites uh, links so that people don't get tricked into going to the wrong place just to say, look, if you want information and updates, follow these particular channels and sites uh, just to make sure that people are going to the right places. All right, that's it, everyone. Have a great week. See ya. Yeah, thanks very much, mate. Um, so much to go over and cover as always, uh, but this is a very, very exciting one heading into the, um, to the uh, MVP transition into open beta. So I uh, really look forward to seeing this DAO progress and the community building an active and thriving community within one of the shop spaces in the vault. So thanks very much and uh, look forward to the next chat.